Hello guys and girls, welcome to another tutorial. Yes, I'm doing two in one day. Uh, just because I haven't done any for a while and I've got a few um, requests to catch up on. Here's a second one. Ta-da! Right, so in this tutorial we are going to be covering um, pulsing, a pulsing um, kind of glow material. Uh, I'm making a gesture with my hand here, just like clenching a fist and then opening it again. Totally, you know, I'm aware that my camera's turned off because I don't want you guys to see that I'm sat here in a really fuzzy onesie because it's cold. Um, but I'm making hand gestures. I always forget that you guys can't see any of that stuff. Um, maybe one day I'll start using it. No, there's no need to. Not with a tutorial. Who needs to see my face during a tutorial? Nobody. Right, so let's make a material. We're going to call this pulse underscore m. We're going to open this guy up. And now the way we're going to make this pulse is using something called a sine wave. So if you don't know what a sine is, sine wave is a mathematical equation. It starts at 1 or negative 1, and then it will push the value towards the opposite. So 1 towards negative 1, negative 1 towards 1, and it will do so in a wave pattern. So a nice steady wave uh, from 1 to 0, 1. Cutting through 0, obviously, and then going into the negatives. And once it hits negative 1, it goes back up to 1. Once it hits 1, it goes back down to negative 1. You can change the frequency of a sine wave so that you can occur the sine wave uh, more often, or you can make it occur less often, but the wave is still going to be the same consistent wave. Right. So, what we need, obviously, is a sine wave. So, we search for sine. Now, this needs a value for timing. Right now, uh, on its own, it's not going to do anything. If we preview it, we're just going to get an error. It's because it doesn't have any sort of time input or value input. So what we're going to do is search for time. And if we put time into the sine wave, now you'll be able to see when it catches up, just this little really harsh kind of pulsing black to white, black to white, black to white. Okay, but we don't quite want that. We want to be able to change this in real time should we need to. So what we're going to do is hold S and left click for a scalar parameter. We're going to call this one, ooh, what are we calling this one? We're calling this one frequency. Somehow I managed to click off of it. Frequency. We're going to start this at a value of 1. Hold M and multiply. Hold Well, hold M and click for multiply. Just don't hold M and then multiply because that's not going to... Anyway, plug those into each other and then into the sign. If we preview the sign again, you'll see that we get exactly the same thing as before. But if I increase the frequency you can see that it's actually going to occur more often. Ta-da! And then let's just get that down again. Don't want to cause any issues. Uh, if you are going to start, um, you know, making pulsing or flashing things, um, please be careful um, about sharing them online because of epilepsy. You don't want to cause anybody any harm. Um, so I'm not going to push that any further than that speed because even that could hurt someone. Anyway. Uh, next thing we're going to do is we're going to hold M and left click for another multiply, plug the sign into a B, hold 3 and left click for a, for a 3 vector, plug that into the A, and this 3 vector is going to be our color. We're going to right click it and convert this parameter, call it color, we'll just give it a nice default red value of 1. And now if we were to preview this, you'll be able to see that we get this pulsing in red instead of in white. Okay. We'll stop previewing that. <clears throat> then what we're going to do is we're going to multiply again. Hold S and left click for another scalar. Plug that in. And we're going to call this intensity. We'll plug this into the emissive. We'll put it, the intensity to a value of 1. And we will apply. Now what we've done is we've created a pulsing red material here you can see it's, it's I'm pointing to it why am I pointing to it you can see that it's um it's going to this nice deep red and then it fades back out to black nice deep red fades back out to black now if we were to put this on a cube you'll be able to see that working and if we right click this and we create a material instance and put this onto the second cube we'll be able to see why we've made it as custom as we did I say as custom it's not very custom but you know you get the drift so bear with me Feel my throat going a little bit there. Oh no! If we were to turn on the color parameters and the frequency and intensity parameters here, we can choose color and we could give it a different color, say blue. And you can see we've got a blue glow on the second cube. 
frequency, let's decrease it 0.5. I want it to be half as quick or twice as slow. And the, the intensity, maybe I'm going to bump this up to 5. You, know, you can see we get this nice blue. Maybe, there we go. Nice. Hmm. Yeah. We'll put the. Whoa. There we are. Maybe not that far up. Maybe it's there. Yeah. So you can see we get this nice glowy effect to this. And it's still pulsing, which is exactly what we want. Now you can change these to be as quick or as slow, as intense or as less intense as you want. Any color that you can think of. You can do the same thing with a mask. So instead of just using a straight color, you could multiply a mask into the color as well so that you could make specific parts of this glow. Um, I'm not going to show you how to do that because it's been covered in other tutorials that I've done. But what we are going to do is we're going to see a, a different way to use this pulse now um, to make a flashing material. So we're going to right click the pulse material, duplicate it, and then just quickly rename it to flash underscore m. Its name is Barry Allen and it's not the fastest man alive. Despite how many times he decides to tell us that at the start of episodes, every episode there's somebody faster. Oh my god, Barry's not fast enough, but isn't he the fastest man alive? Nope. Right. Hold Alt and left click on the B multiply for the color to break the, the link with the sign. A little bit of a rant there about like programs. <laughs> what we're going to do now is we're going to um, check the value of sign. So we're going to right click and search for if. And then what we're going to do is hold one and left click for a constant. We're just going to leave this at zero and plug it into A. And then we're going to put sine into B. So now the A is greater than B or A is less than B is going to check zero against sine. And what we're going to do is we're going to say, well, well, we'll seal what we'll floor first. Floor sine. And that's going into A is greater than B. Ta-da. So... There we go. What a floor does is it takes any value up to 0.5 and rounds it down to the nearest integer. And similarly, seal does the opposite. It takes anything uh, from 0 0.5 and rounds it up to the nearest integer. So what we're doing here is we're basically checking if sine is between 0 and 0 0.5, then we're going to knock the value down to zero and if sine is below uh, is between 0 0.5 and 1 then we're going to round it up to 1 so now you can see we don't have any sort of pulse we're just getting a flashing okay on or off on or off we can apply that in fact I'm going to default the color of this one to green just so that we can see them all working next to each other Okay, we'll place the flash material onto a cube, right click the flash material, create a material instance, open them up, place the instance onto a new cube, and then what we're going to do is we will maybe change this one to an orange colour, give it an intensity of 20, let's really make that bad boy glow, and a frequency of 2 so he flashes twice as quick. So there you can see how we just two materials we've created both a, f a pulse and a flash both using sign and we can change these you can change these values inside of blueprints by creating material instances and then uh, changing the scalar parameters on the fly so deciding perhaps when you walk up the stairs you want this yellow one to actually flash purple you could do so all right hopefully that explains um both sign and how we can create pulse and flashing uh, really easily. I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.